Uh, you had Brit Brittany Carter, who's a transfer from Ball State, who averaged 13 points a game there. Uh, really is a veteran player, smart, can handle ball, pass, and shoot. And so we've looked very different in practice. You know, our ability to pass the basketball and get it inside, get scores on the block, and then also be able to defend, defend and rebound inside as well. You know, I think when Jackie went down with Mono last year, we were just really small inside. And when teams got offensive rebounds or teams got the ball inside, they scored. And uh, I think with uh, being 6'3", six, 6'3", three, six, three inside, this year, and then also having you know Ivory and Brittany, who are big guards at 5'11 and six foot. Uh, you know, I think just our length is going to make a world of difference to our team. Uh, Kennedy Catton had uh, tore ACL. She was our high, highest rated freshman uh, coming out when we first got here, and then she was not able to play. So uh, we have a lot of new faces. You know, Mara Coleman was a WBCA All American as well. We were the only Big Ten school to have two players named All American to the WBCA All American list or McDonald's All American list, and. Uh, you know, for our second season to have two uh, All-Americans coming to Illinois, it's really the reason why I took this job in the hope that we'd be able to go after the top recruits. And, you know, our freshman class, you had Brooke Kissinger. Uh, Brooke's going to be able to play for us as a freshman, as one of the top shooting guards in the country coming in. And uh, in our first practice, Brooke went six for seven from the three-point line in her first day uh, in, in, on, in practice, official practice. So she can really shoot the basketball. And so it's exciting to think. Uh, I know Jackie and Ivory returning uh, have gotten a lot better. I will say I think every one of our returning players is better than they were last year and Jackie certainly being able to play the four position is going to help her a great deal. You know, that's really what we recruited her to. Uh, unfortunately, she had to play the five last year because we just didn't have anybody else. Uh, but she really can step out and shoot it. She's great feed in the post. And so she, she's going to look a lot better at the four than she did playing the five, even though she had a great, great freshman year. So we're obviously very excited. Um, yeah, I do want to mention the season tickets, uh, fightingillini.com, $25. And, you know, if, if there's one thing, and I ask coaches when I'm on the road, what's one thing you could change or one thing you could do to make your program take that next step? And for us, the attendance, uh, getting people to come out to the games is something that will make a huge difference for us. We know we've got to do our part. You know, we, our part is bringing in great players, playing a fun style of basketball and winning basketball games. Uh, I think in our year three, we're ready to take that step. We had a great first year. We went nine and seven, the Big Ten. You know, we were uh, I think it was the best, best Big Ten record in 12 years. Obviously, last year was not what we had envisioned, and uh, it, it makes recruiting really exciting to go out and get players that can help us talent-wise. And uh, we're going to be a better basketball team, and we'll see how much better as, as time goes on. We'll open it up for questions. Matthew, utter NCAA tournament with this team? It's yeah. certainly the goal. It's, you know, I, can you go from 2-14 and 14 in the Big Ten to – 500 or around 500, you know, that's a big jump in one year, especially when you add Maryland to Final Four team and Rutgers who won the WNIT and returned their whole team from that. Um, but yeah, that, that's what we came here to do is play in the NCAA tournament, play in the postseason and be able to make runs and, and be able to do that. Is Shatrice as good or better than you thought she'd be? Yeah, she's everything that we had hoped she would be. Um, she, and the one thing about talented players, they, they tend to get better. And uh, our practices are really intense. We have a lot of detail. And she wants to learn. She picks up things really fast. And so she has been, uh, in the three days of practice, she's probably been our leading scorer, leading rebounder in, in those three days. Matt, not to single out one single player, but is Shatrice one of those players you can label a program changer? Yeah, I think so. Now, the one thing you have to have guards that can get her the ball, too. And, uh, you know, adding Kylie Simmons, who's a really talented point guard, great leader, uh, that made a huge difference. Adding Brittany Carter, who's got a great feel for the game, can shoot the three, stretch the defense, and is a great passer as well. You know, that those things make a big difference. I think, you know, our first year, Charisma Penn was really talented, but there was teams that could really sag and take that away. And if we couldn't get Amber loose, we kind of struggled to get Charisma the ball. And now having Brooke and, and Kylie and, and uh, Brittany and different players, Ivory, be able to stretch the floor, Jackie, that's going to help make it easy to get Chatrice the ball. She does demand a lot of attention inside. The one great thing is she's a great passer as well. And so getting her touches is going to be really important because she'll score or be able to find open, open shooters when she, when she gets touches. With so many you know, newcomers, just how different will the, the product be on the court? Yeah, we're hoping drastically. Um, you know, it, it's a little early to tell that. Uh, we're we're going to be different. Uh, we're going to be a lot more skilled, a, a lot longer. Uh, and I think those two things are really important to our success. Uh, I think if there's anything that, that hurt us last year is our lack of size inside, inability to rebound the basketball. I know Chatrice was sitting at a game with another recruit, and then the recruit said, boy, they're, they're not rebounding very well. And Chatrice said, well, that'll change next year. And uh, she's right. <laughs> it is changing with her. Uh, that's probably the biggest thing. And even the offensive rebound. 
rebounding. You know, and, and we scrimmaged the other day, and, and in a four-minute scrimmage or five-minute scrimmage, she had three offensive rebounds and putbacks. We just didn't get many of those. If we did get an offensive rebound, we didn't get a putback. Um, and so those little things really add up to a, a big difference. So many new players. How is the chemistry? How do you see them coming? Through? Yeah, I'll give our returners a lot of credit because we talked about the the recruits and how talented they were. Jackie Grant said last week, you know, I, you guys talked about how good they would be, but until they got here, I don't think we realized how talented they are. And now that they're here, they're really embracing our locker room is the best it's been, and uh, something that's uh, really important to a women's team is your chemistry. And I give our returners a lot of credit because they they want the program to be better. They realize that they may not mean as much time for them, but they're embracing it and. And doing great in practice. Um, you know, game hasn't started yet, so it's a little bit easier in practice than it is when, when you're sitting on the bench. But uh, we'll see. And so far, they've been awesome. And I, I give the returners a lot of credit for their attitude and how they've embraced uh, the changes that are happening. You have a player that's kind of flying under the radar right now that maybe not a lot of talk, but. Yeah, I think Brooke, Brooke Kissinger might be, you know, Amara Coleman is a WBCA, Shatrice McDonald's, and, and not a lot of people knew about Brooke. We did. We've been recruiting Brooke since she was in eighth grade. Um, but, you know, she uh, was a leading three-point shooter in the history of Nebraska basketball. Uh, you know, I think she made 100 threes in her freshman year of high school. And, uh, and then we saw her in the AAU make more threes in the summer, playing against the very best competition. Her last three games, she made five threes in the first half of every game, playing against the best rated teams in the country. So I think Brooke might be a kid that uh, most people wouldn't think she'd come in and be an impact player. And it's a little early to tell what she's going to do defensively. But offensively, she's making a difference right now. Coach, could you kind of handicap the Big Ten for us, especially given two programs that are coming in that are traditionally strong and I hate to ask the question who's the team to beat but who's the team to beat yeah, uh, you know, I think that for uh, some of the sports, you know, volleyball right now, Rutgers and Maryland are two that haven't made a huge impact in the volleyball. The volleyball's, you know, it didn't need a huge impact as it's such a strong conference, the Big Ten. It will make a huge impact for us. Maryland played in the Final Four last year, returned most of their players from that team. Rutgers won the WNIT, and uh, you know, it returned again the whole team. So that right now, I if I would, you know, I'd pick Maryland probably number one. Uh, Iowa is going to be really good. They returned most of their team. Uh, Michigan State returns a lot. Nebraska returns a lot. Teams that played, you know, won the first round last year um, and played in the final 32. So, um, you know, those are some programs I think are going to be great, but uh, time will tell. The Big Ten as a league has gotten way better. The year before, and I say this a lot, year before I came, the Big Ten was ranked fifth in the RPI. Last two years, we've been number one or number two. Now you add two really good teams to that. We've got a chance with probably the ACC to be the number one conference. Certainly our depth, the one thing that we haven't had is teams going to a Final Four, competing for a national championship. Hopefully that's on the horizon um, for the league. But I know top to bottom, it's as good as any league there is. Therese and Jackie will be able to play together Easily? Yes. Yeah, they will. And, uh, you know, we're, we're obviously looking at things defensively, how we're guarding and, and those things. So far, you know, it's, we've been really happy with Shatrice's feet, how she can run. We knew she could run the floor, but can she move east and west in order to switch screens? And, you know, what are we going to do, you know, with our switching screens and those things? But, yeah, so far they've played together every day in practice and been really good together. Again, it's Jackie's more of a four than a five. Um, Offensively, it'd be really easy. The question is defensively, you know, how are we going to guard? How will it look in the buzz? How will it look when we go 2 2 1? Uh, and those things, and, and those are some things we got to work through. But uh, certainly, our plan is to play them together. And right now, if we're starting today, they're starting together and, and playing a lot of minutes together. How do you have to adjust what you're doing that first year when you brought in the buzz and kind of caught some teams off guard? They were able to adjust to it last year. What kind of changes are you making here? Yeah, you know, it's more about your personnel than it is about like the changes that we make because other teams are doing this or that. You know, the, the first year having Adrian and Charisma, it really changed. The buzz looked, we set the Big Ten record for the most forced turnovers and most steals. Uh, all of a sudden last year we weren't very long and not very athletic and it didn't look quite as good. Um, we, and again, I will say we had to use it way more last year than I wanted to. I want to be a man-to-man -man defensive team and then sprinkle in the buzz where last year we just weren't very good in our man. When the ball went inside, it scored. And so we ended up playing more buzz than we really wanted to. So we're hoping to have a little more balance with it this year. And, um, you know, and it'll look a little bit different with Jackie and, and Chatrice running around in it and how it'll look and how we play it might be a little bit different because of that. 
Coach, there have been a lot of changes to State Farm Center since your last home game. How do you think the process is coming along, and what's that going to do to your team next year? Yeah, certainly we're selling it what it, uh, what it looks like, and, and we bring in, show the video right away and show pictures to the recruits, and our recruiting has gone extremely well, so it's, it is helping us there. Um, yeah, obviously, the atmosphere uh, is really important to us and getting more fans in there, but it's exciting to think about uh, you know what that's going to look like in, in a final product, and you know we're selling it as one of the best uh, venues in, in Big Ten. And so uh, we're excited about that, and obviously it's a process to where it's going, but uh, each change is going to help our program. Coach, you mentioned recruiting. I know you can't talk specifically about each player, but what do you think you guys are doing so well that's leading to so much recruiting success? Yeah, I think, one, we have a real passion for it. You know, I, uh, I tell the story uh, a lot of times that when Chatrice came on campus her sophomore year, end of her sophomore year, before her junior year, she said, you know, I want a staff that makes me feel important. And Chatrice is not a needy kid, but kid, recruits want to feel wanted. So we got in the car, Coach DeVillis and I drove five times, 10 hours, watch her play, get back and watch the game, drive eight, nine hours back, and, uh, and then get home at five in the morning. And we had practice at 730. So we're up two hours later to do that. We did the same thing with a kid in the UP. Unfortunately, we didn't get that, that player. But just our passion for recruits. Recruiting. The one thing I'll say is we're, we're finally getting ahead of the game. When we first got here, you know, you're a new staff and a lot of new people that, that don't know you and don't know your program. So you just kind of have to hit the ground running. We got Jackie and we got Kennedy early. Um, and then the next year you, you kind of manage it. Now, I'm really pleased with our freshman class. For our second year to have two All-Americans uh, as freshmen, you know, I know Gino came and I sat at practice with him. And, uh, and he said it took me six years to get a McDonald's All-American at Connecticut. So to be in our second year and, and have one is really exciting. And uh, now I feel like we're ahead of the game. You know, uh, Tiana went out the other day and she watched a ninth grader, an eighth grader, and a, a seventh grader. And so we weren't at that point when we first got the job. We've offered several kids that are, you know, sophomores and freshmen, and we're spending time. Now, I'm going to be making a lot of trips, not watching juniors this year, but watching sophomores and freshmen, which we haven't been able to do in the past. So it's exciting to think about the commitments that we have, and uh, I'll be able to talk more individually in, in November about them. But I'm really excited about the kids that are, we're getting to come to Illinois. Paradise Jam you know, this season and the level of competition that you'll see there. How important is that you know, trip for a team you feel pretty positive about to maybe you know, see what, you know, how they stack up? Yeah, we're playing three teams that will play in the NCAA tournament this year, probably three teams that have a chance to, to win a game or two or maybe advance. So uh, with Kentucky, Oklahoma, and South Florida, um, it, it's the best tournament in women's basketball, and we probably have the toughest draw of anybody uh, in the tournament. So we'll learn a lot about our team and where we're at. If we can do well in that tournament, then we're probably going to have an, uh, an amazing year. And it's going to be a little early to tell because we're going to be so young going into those games. But uh, it would be kind of exciting to see kind of a measuring stick for us at that time. Yeah, last I just want to mention, we have Trick or Treat with the Stars. Last year we did it for the first time uh, in Ubbin and the University of Illinois Credit Union sponsored it. We had 700 people last year come to Trick or Treat with our team and coaches. And it's from 3 to 5 on October 19th. And uh, we're hoping for a great turnout there and a great community thing that uh, uh, we started last year. And uh, we hope we're hoping to have over 1,000 people come to that event on October 19th from 3 to 5. Trick or Treat with the Stars with our team and our coaches.